I want to first acknowledge uh, the Coast Salish peoples, including the Semiamu, the Akatsi, the Kwikwetlem, the Kwantlen, the Kakai, and the Sawasan First Nations on whose traditional territory we are on today. Sundays at 3.30 p.m., Dil Afna Pakistan brings you Canadians with roots in Pakistan and features community information and entertainment. Who's the fundraiser? Like, who's conducting the fundraising? And they're like, Shahir, there is no fundraiser. And I'm like, oh yes, there is no fundraiser because we finally have it. Alhamdulillah. So this is actually not a fundraising dinner. This is a commemoration dinner. A very special night where we're celebrating the opening of our beloved center. Um, the White Rock Muslim Association Center. So this is a, a night to celebrate, a night to thank Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala for this amazing achievement. And it's lovely to have the community here today. So welcome to all of you um, from, from our community, from our sponsors, from our hardworking volunteers, our board, our neighbors. Thank you very much for coming out tonight and making this event very special. My name is uh, Shahir, and I will be your MC for tonight. But to start things off, I'd like to invite the other Shahir here. It's, this is a very special night because I'm probably the only Shahir you'll meet. But then there's actually two of us here. So this is a very, very rare occasion to have two Shahirs gathered in one spot. So I'd like to invite the better half of me to start the Quran recitation. Go ahead. Pakistan so, <laughs> दिल अपने पाकिस्तान में व्हाट्सएप इन वेंकूवर में और वेंकूवर की सर्वेलियों में हम आपको ये यहाँ पे जल्दियाँ दिखाएंगे अब स्मॉल प्रेयर होने वाली है तो इंशाल्लाह आइए हम दुआ में शामिल होते हैं اللهم اهدنا في من هديت وعافنا في من عافيت وتولنا في من توليت وبارك لنا فيما اعطيت واقنا واصرف عنا شر ما قضيت فانك تقضي ولا يقضى عليك انه لا يذل من عليك ولا يعز من عاديت نستغفرك الله من جميع الذنوب ونتوب اليك اللهم اجرنا من النار اللهم ارنا الحق حقا وارزقنا اتباعه وارنا الباطل باطلا وارزقنا اجتنابه ربنا هب لنا من ازواجنا وذرياتنا قرة اعين وجعلنا للمتقين إماما يا الله يا إله يا رحمن يا كريم يا الله these people the collective have come together and they've collected together to inaugurate this beautiful beautiful masjid 
and you said in the Mayakul Masajid Allah Mahama Bilal Yum Afir, Ya Allah, these people have brought Iman upon you and they have practice upon this ayah. Ya Allah, you accept all of their efforts. Ya Allah, every time, every little sip, every little second that they have given to the masjid, every little penny that they have given to the masjid, Ya Allah, you accept it in your court. Amen. Ya Allah, give them a better return in the hereafter as well as in this world, Allah. Amen. Ya Allah, just like how Prophet Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam taught us, Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana, wa fi laafiti hasana wa qina adab al nar. Ya Allah, you give them that as well. All those people who physically help, all those people who help with their money, all those people who help with their dua, all those people who made fasting for this masjid, Ya Allah, you accept each and every act performed from each and every individual. Ya Allah, you allow us to live in a peaceful way. Ya Allah, you allow us to live in a unified way. Ya Allah, you allow us to live with our hearts filled with love for one another. Ya Allah, allow this community, allow this masjid to be a peace and source of a blessing for entire Muslim community, for Islam, for all the communities living in White Rock, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, allow this to spread peace in the entire White Rock, all of Canada, in the entire world, in fact, Ya Allah. Just like how Medina, Allah, Ya Allah, spread khayr and good into the entire world, Ya Allah, allow this facility to spread khayr and good into the entire world, Ya Allah. Ya Allah, whatever difficulties, whatever deterrence and whatever problems should this place, this facility, this community face in the future, Ya Allah, you take care of that, Ya Allah. Allow this masjid to function in the manner that Masjid and Nabi function. Ya Allah, allow this place to prosper in the manner that Masjid and Nabi prosper. Ya Allah, allow this masjid to move forward and help and meet the needs of each and every person in this community. Subhana rabbika rabbika zat yamma yasifun wa salamun ala musaleen الحمد لله رب العالمين برحمة الله الرحمن الرحيم آمين يا رب العالمين جزاك الله خير سو ما سبب ايه كنا جاهونجي كيفن فور كي جان دلابنا باكستان what I'm saying like pro, uh, productive conversations, not selling and you know your Amazon products is the must just go to my shop and buy it. Right? That's what I'm saying. Productive conversations used to happen inside the masjid. Productive activity with regards to spiritual elevation and intellectual growth used to happen within inside the walls of the masjid. All of the tribes and all of the clans that used to come and visit Prophet they used to visit him within inside the masjid. All of the battalions which were sent out in defense of the Muslims, they used to receive the instruction within inside the masjid. All the people who were sent in different parts of the world to teach people Quran, teach people prophetic traditions, teach them Islamic way of life, all the people who reverted to Islam, all those, all those tasks used to happen within, inside the masjid. You know, whenever we take groups to masjid for Hajj and Umrah, we take, we like to take groups, and then we tell them, okay, this is this is where this certain tribe used to live, and this is where Prophet Sallallahu used to meet the you know tradesmen, and this is where the business used to take place. This is where the social gathering used to take place. This is where his house was. This is where his wives used to live. And this is where Ali radiallahu anhu was. This is where Abu, and it's all within the small boundary. You know, have you guys seen Masjid al Nawi? Who's who's been there recently? Recently, recently. Okay, before pandemic. Yes. So all the new vicinity of the Masjid that you see, this was not how large of a boundary the Masjid had. It was roughly around thirty by thirty or thirty by sixty feet. That's it. That's how big it was. So I I say this it's, it's just an objective digression. I'm not I'm not gonna I'm not taking a jab at anyone. Our problem is we like to have big masjid, small gatherings. They used to have large gatherings and small masjids. Our masjids have grown, our hearts have become small. Their masjids were small, their hearts were large and big. This is something that we need to inculcate in our life. Take place in the masjid. And no one was offended in the masjid. In fact, it was quite the opposite. Many a time, Prophet ﷺ would look in the congregation and to see if someone's missing. And if someone's missing, 
he would inquire about them. Why did this person come? What was the reason? And if he was told that the person is sick, then Prophet ﷺ would leave everything aside. It doesn't matter how busy his schedule was. He would go and actually pay a visit to that person, asking and inquiring, how are you doing? Can I help you with anything? Today, what we say, oh, that brother hasn't been coming. Oh man, may Allah guide him, you know. Shaitan has got to him. We gotta like, you know, we feel sorry for him. What has gotten to this person? How come he doesn't come to the mosque anymore? How come he doesn't come to the masjid anymore? Well, that sister used to come in halaqah, she doesn't come anymore, she's gone astray. But these comments are very destructive. They're irrevocable. They shatter the hearts of people. A shattered glass can never be restored to the original, you know, say, uh, the original status that it had before. So once you break a heart, you can't fix it. So our massages have to be cleared of this type of filth that we throw in it. This type of, you know, negativity that exists within, we have to eliminate that. Who's going to do that? We're going to do that. How are we going to do that? Is by being optimistic and being positive about our masjid. Not always bickering about the committee. Not always bickering about the people who are volunteering and helping. I say this with hand and heart. Wallahi, my masjid, I'm sure your masjid as well. Some of the volunteers, by every Friday, without missing, an a, unless they're out of the country, even before me, Salah, prayer time is at 1.30, they're there at 12 o'clock. Rain or shine, they're there, cleaning the masjid, looking after the shoes of people, you know, serving them food, giving them water, making sure the masjid, the heating is running nowadays, making sure the masjid smells nice, making sure the washrooms are clean. Like, these people come every day, we've got to appreciate what they do for the community. It's not a paid job. But as Sayyid, what he does here is not a paid job. His team, what it does here is not a paid job. It's volunteering hours. And this is something that we must appreciate. And we have to learn that from the masjid to appreciate our community. Man lam yashkurin nas? Lam? Yeah. If you cannot allow yourself to have appreciation for the people, you will not be able to appreciate the bounties of Allah. And masjid is a bounty of Allah. Thank you for uh, your contributions and, and your support. Um, uh, Tarukaram Restaurant, I don't think uh, he is here with us. The restaurant, oh, it's a hard industry. They're probably working right now. Uh, Brother Ikram Wala from Lahori Restaurant and Suites. He is, he's on the way probably bringing us food as, uh, as uh, he is driving right now, but we'll give it to him in a bit. Uh, medical Center Prescriptions. Thank you very much. please. Uh, I'd also like to invite, uh, so we're, we're doing sponsors, uh, this man is not uh, a company himself, but the way he operates, it, it is as if he is 10 companies. Uh, so I'd like to invite Najmi Sayyid uh, to receive our sponsor appreciation. While we have board meetings, he's actually in the masjid painting and doing all, all these renovations and all this work. So your contribution is much appreciated. I'd like to invite Brother Rahat Rao. Thank you very much for your contribution. You have exchanged 
cash to a place in Jannah, inshallah. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala accept that from you. I'd like to invite uh, Brother Talib from Sultan Finishing. Are you with us today? No, I'm, I'm afraid I don't see an audience with Jazamullah Khair. And last but not least, I'd like to invite Brother Omar from Troy Tiles. I believe we... Is he here today? A special friend here, and your friend too, Dr. Farhan. We have to give him a space. He don't know, but a surprise award we want to give him. Yeah, Dr. Farhan, please. Please come on. Dr. Farhan used to be the chair of the White Rock. He is retired. I have to take it over again. But he is doing a wonderful job. He's still I mean, just like more than me. So all these organizations, he is a very important role. Thank you. And we have for the Dr. Farhan. Thank you very much, Dr. Farhan, for all the work you are doing. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Peter. Thank you. <laughs> does not necessarily translate into like helping it monetarily. You can always help the masjid through your dua. Well, Allah protect the masjid. And this is a dua that we currently need to make. Well, Allah protect all the Muslims all across the world. And in whatever way they're suffering. Well, Allah protect all the masajid all across the world. Masjid Al-Aqsa, people of Gaza, people of West Bank. Wherever Muslims are suffering, well, Allah you protect them. And this is a dua that we need to make inside the masjid for them. And this is a dua that we need to make more than five times for them. No matter where people are, they're suffering, we ask Allah, Allah, uplift their suffering. Because we strongly believe that through our dua, we'll be able to change the situation. We believe that or not? Yeah. We, dua can change destiny. Dua can change taqdeer. And it can. So this is something that we need to do inside the masjid. So I making collective dua for all of you guys. You guys need to make collective dua for the Muslims all across the world. Wa akhirat da'wan and alhamdulillah rabbil alamin. Jazakum akhir.
दरिया प्रेम का दरिया प्रेम का उल्टी वागी धार दरिया प्रेम का उल्टी 